AB is a line segment, P is the midpoint of mid is the midpoint, D and E are points on the side AB such that angle BAD equal to angle AB, EPA equal to DPB show the following. Let's mark what is given. So first let's mark AB is a line segment, P is the midpoint. So here we have P is midpoint of AB which means now this side here AP must be equal to PB. So this will be equal to this AP equal to PB because it is a midpoint. Then two angles are given equal. Here we have given angle BAD equal to ABE. BAD, BAD is this angle. BAD, they said equal to ABE. ABE is this angle. So we have done the second part. And then the third they have given here that uh, EPA equal to DPB. EPA, now where is EPA? EPA is this angle equal to DPB. DPB is this angle. Just like the earlier one, we will put this angle 1, we will put this angle 2, and here in this middle we will put this as angle 3 here. So we start off with that. So we have angle 1 equal to angle 2 that is given and now to that we add 3 on both the sides. So we have angle 3 here plus angle 3. We add angle 3 on both the sides. So we have 1 plus 3 will be equal to 2 plus 3. Now what is 1 plus 3? If you see 1 plus 3 is this angle, this entire angle this and this. This entire angle is 1 plus 3 which is angle DPA equal to 2 plus 3. Now 2 plus 3 is this angle. 2 plus 3 means this angle here. And I'll just darken it a little bit so you know this angle DPE that is 2 plus 3 so that is angle DPE so 1 plus 3 equal to 2 plus 3 now we'll start with the triangles so we had 1 plus 3 we had this angle let's darken it this angle is equal to 2 plus 3 which is this angle 2 plus 3 this angle is equal. Now uh, we'll take the two triangles we need to consider are these. One is this triangle. It's this one here which is triangle PAD. So we have triangle PAD. This, this triangle. And the other triangle is this one. And the next now will be triangle PBE. First, so first we write AP of the gray equal to PB of the orange. And that is, reason is P is midpoint. P is midpoint. The next is the green. This green angle, angle A equal to angle B. And that is given to us. And for the third one, we have already proved it. We have already proved angle D, DPA, here we have proved, we are writing this, equal to angle B, P, E. And for this, we have proved. So therefore, I can say now, triangle, P A D is congruent to P B E. And by what test? Let's check up and see which test. So I have A here, which is equal to this A. Then I had this S equal to this S. And I had this A equal to this A. So by A S A test. And that is by A S A test. So I can also use these triangles 
which is I can say triangle is the same thing DAP is congruent to triangle EBP it's a different way of writing so here we have AD will be equal to BE so AD equal to BE by CP CT corresponding parts of congruent triangles So basically in the sum we took this triangle and we said this angle, this side, this side and we took it in blue and then we took this, this one was equal to, was equal to this angle, this side and this angle of the other. So by ASA test the triangles were congruent.